Hello Taurus and welcome to your title for today. Thank you for joining me. My name is Arnie and I am the Tarot Tattler. Let's dive right into today's title, Taurus. Okay, so your first card out. Now, this may be you having to juggle quite a few things at the same time. Maybe hoping to be able to manage more than one thing at the same time. This may be you having to choose between two and not being able to decide which one it is that you want. Wow, <laughs> another card of choice. Now Taurus, are you choosing between someone you want romantically in your life? Are you hoping to have a choice? That might be it. You're hoping for something that's going to be exactly right. Now the energy that's balancing you currently is back and forth communication. Now this might be communication going over the airwaves, something you might have received, something you might be sending out. Maybe this is a tarot reading that sits in your hopes. Something that you're hoping you're going to have a choice in. With a star. There's that significant something that you are fearing now in your mind space because of this communication that talks about this significant occurrence, this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And the reason is because right now all it sits as is something just a message. It is just a message. You only have half the information though, Taurus. What you should know is this maybe relate, relate to your long-term finances, this which you may be juggling. It may be finances that you are juggling. With the Ten of Pentacles, we're talking about a long-term investment, a home, a marriage. This may talk about some kind of work establishment. What's in your hidden position is a King of Rods. Now from the looks of it, he's, he's driving your mind space. We could be talking about a fire sign, a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius or someone who has very strong fire energy. Someone who doesn't allow anything to stand in his way. Someone who has the ability to harness the energy that he's been gifted with to focus it on what it is that needs to be accomplished. He may be the head of this household. That's a part of what you should know. Now, Taurus, in your physical world, you sit as the angel. Now, we could be talking about a Sagittarius, but here's balance, here's love. Two major corners, three in your current environment, Taurus. Introspection, reaching for the knowledge that you hold within in order to be able to balance your current environment. You are being your own angel. And it is only when you go into your hermit energy of understanding yourself 
of being able to understand that we are not just all good, we are a combination of of good and bad, things we like about ourselves and things we don't. It is only then that we are able to enter the lovers. The energy that's balancing you is not having all of the information. It sits there as as almost a hindrance not being able to see forward of not having all of that information that's going out in your mind space, the one that you are considering wow here's that significant love in your current environment your two of cups, your once in a lifetime opportunity, your lovers, your long term commitment. With the Nine of Pentacles, abundant, being able to reap the harvest after having sown it imagine having that fate something that you thought was small turned into something that allows you to be able to self-sustain almost it's like a peacock on our shoulders Here's that fast forward motion. This could be you moving home, Taurus. And look at you, are just guided on every side. You have what it takes for this move. Whatever this move means for you, something that can move forward. You could be changing job. You could be moving home. But you are stronger than what you give yourself credit for, Taurus. In your past, there might have been some kind of teamwork. Something where each person had to carry their own wonder of creation. Something that finds balance in the current environment. This may be different people that had to work together on some kind of project. And with the King of Pentacles, it is something that led to financial pros prosperity. Maybe that firm belief in yourself, maybe learning the ability of being able to turn anything that you touch into gold. Where you are headed, Taurus, is the Knight of Rods. Once you reach some kind of understanding of what this communication is all about, you are able to use the Knight of Rods energy now we could quite very likely be talking about a fire sign carrying night energy and we know that this is someone who would be impulsive, someone who is on a new quest every single day without having to understand or needing to understand why. To be able to bottle this energy means that you can create a, a new company every day. This energy is one of the most important energies to start up any new venture. And this is despite not knowing where it is you're headed. Now Taurus, I might have spoken about life going in cycles. 
something that is exactly right in your current environment can be completely different in your future position. But here you have your celebration. But there is one cup that you have your, your eyes focused on. It is that one cup that, that you are not even certain if it's real. Because there are hidden elements to it. Maybe the fact that it's real invokes a new inspiration. The moon talks about creativity. Something that is completely and utterly unique. What you should know is that whatever move it is you're going to make is going to be one that brings balance. With justice, it's allowing each person to carry their role out without judgment, without recrimination. Yes, it has far-reaching consequences, but we are all masters of our fate and destiny. It's about understanding what that truly means. And with the Queen of Pentacles, now Taurus, this could be you not realizing that after this healing, you're going to be looking at this king. Maybe this is some other queen in your energy. Someone who's tied to the King of Rods. But with justice, we're talking about having that fairness and balance of understanding that this is a big step forward, Taurus. And what it does is allows you to consolidate yourself, have that firm belief in yourself. Now what you should know as your outcome is that offer that that one cup. Maybe it was a message that was delivered that sits in your mind space. Something you thought couldn't possibly be true. Maybe it was something you heard. But whatever it was, it was a message that was delivered that you didn't quite believe could be true. And it immediately puts you in a mind space of not being able to see the way forward. Maybe not even wanting to go forward. When you look at the outcome, you'll say that. It was because I thought that the offer was, was not true, that it couldn't possibly be, that it made my mind space run amok. But here we have it, Taurus, a significant relationship. The Four of Wands talks about security. It talks about foundations, a firm foundation, a happy home. So there might be something in your current environment. It might be something related to a creative project. Wow, something related to soul family, Taurus. Happy home, happy family. Six is about reciprocity being able to hold your flower 
And yes, Taurus, you don't see this coming. It is hidden from view. Here's those two swords that you yield in your, fo in your future position. And what's ruling you is this new beginning. Wow, Taurus, it's almost upon you. I wish you all the best. And until your next tattle, bye for now.